Hi everyone, thanks for joining for this tutorial on the Linus shawl. Thank you so much for your feedback and watching the zigzag scarf pattern that I did earlier this week. And I got some really great feedback and comments and I will try my best to stop saying um and ah uh, so much. I only promise not to be perfect though. It's the only guarantee I make. So for the Linus shawl, it's a really, really pretty, almost boomerang shaped uh, shawl that I did in finger weight yarn and it was actually a, a sock yarn and I thought it turned out really, really beautifully and it had some self striping in it and I'll show some pictures of it. I do not have it anymore because I gave it away as a gift to my fiance's grandmother for her 90th birthday. So she is enjoying that right now, but I'll, sh I'll share some pictures with you. So this is really only two different rows and you are adding and decreasing stitches, which helps to create that boomerang shape. So you start by casting on five stitches. And then the first row is knitting until the last stitch. So for this one, it'll be knit four. Get that closer. And then the last stitch, you're gonna do a knit front and back. And for the knit front and back, just knit like normal, but do not take it off the left needle. Take your right needle and go behind the left needle and put it through the back and knit like normal. So we're going to turn it around. For this one, you are going to knit two, one, two, and then do a yarn over. All you do for yarn over is see how the yarn is in the back of my work right now? Bring it to the front. There, you've done a yarn over. And it may seem a little loose right now, but it will tighten itself up as you keep going. So then you're going to knit to the last two and knit those together. Back to our first row. So this will be knit all the way to the end. Excuse me, knit all the way to the last stitch and then do a knit front and back. And the way that I know I'm on the right or the, the correct row it, when I'm making a stitch front and back is the third to last stitch is our yarn over and that just feels different. It's a lot looser, a lot more loose, looser. I'm sure someone will correct me. And then you knit front and back. All right, back to the knit two, yarn over, knit two together. So you're going to knit two, yarn over, knit to our last two stitches, and then knit those together. around. So we're going to knit all the way to the last stitch. And again, there's my yarn over. So I know I'm in the right place. And then knit front and back. Let's do that a couple more times. All right, so this is going to be a, I'm gonna get a little more yarn. Oh, I should probably tell you what yarn I'm using. So I'm using the uh, Patton's Classic Wool Worsted, and I find this is an economical 
um, and easy yarn to work with. It can be a little scratchy, so um, definitely I, I usually soak these to soften them up a little bit. All right, so we are going to knit two, yarn over, knit to the last two stitches, This one, knit into the last, knit until the last stitch. Last stitch, we're gonna knit, come to the back. And again, I can tell because that third to last stitch is my yarn over. Let's do that again. Two, yarn over, knit all the way in, until the last two. And knit those together. All right, so that is it. And as you can see, it's starting to take shape. I've worked a little bit more on another sample where you can see it's a kind of boomerang shape and it's just gonna keep going. Now, this one actually has a mistake in it that I, as opposed to throwing it out, I thought I'd point it out. So if you can, as we're looking at our yarn overs, there's one missing right there. So on a, a, a bulkier yarn like this, it becomes much more evident if you're doing finger weight you probably won't see it as much and it depends on the color i personally would go back and fix it but it's really up to you again on this bulkier it just is m much more evident and with the the sock yarn the finger weight it just makes it a lot more delicate of a garment and not quite so hefty as as this would be right here because it is garter stitch it's going to be um, a little bit more hefty. So again, here are some more pictures of the completed Linus that I did. And I wanna thank you so much for watching this. This was a request from someone who was interested in learning how to do the Linus scarf. So if there are any requests that you have of something that would be helpful to see, please feel free to let me know. And while I cannot promise, I can certainly give it a try. Alrighty, thanks so much and happy knitting everyone.